This is a presentation about her work on enhancing facial data diversity with style-based face aging. Bias in facial data occurs when there is unequal representation of protected attributes such as age, gender, skin colour, or ethnicity. This is particularly important since computer vision algorithms trained on datasets encoding such biases can result in biased performance against vulnerable or underrepresented groups. In this paper, we focus on age bias, which results from the scarcity of available images that depict very old or very young faces, and is considered one of the most common biases in face analysis. We propose to enhance the age diversity of a dataset using face aging and rejuvenation. Early works in age progression were physical model-based approaches that focused on modelling biologically inspired mechanical transformations and facial anatomy. These methods were computationally expensive and could not generalise well due to the constraints of the models. Later, data-driven approaches would learn a mapping between age class prototypes, like class means. These age progression methods suffered from the loss of identity information, and this resulted in unrealistic ageing results. With the establishment of deep learning techniques, GAN-based architectures have been utilised to perform face ageing. These methods usually perform image-to-image -image translation by conditioning on a class label. In this work, however, we take a different approach and condition image generation on the ageing patterns of a particular target face. Our goal is to enhance the diversity of a face dataset with respect to the age attribute. We draw inspiration from the style transfer literature and provide fine gate control over the ageing patterns. We condition on multi-resolution, age-discriminative representations of a particular target face at the target age. By doing so, we relax the rigid assumption of dependence on a single, one option encoded age label vector. This means that we can synthesize more diverse aging patterns by conditioning on different target images and transfer the unique aging features accordingly. A generator is an autoencoder-like network designed to translate an input image to a target age class. We show here an input image of age under 30 being translated to the age class over 50. To condition the translation, we use the activations of the discriminator to modulate the style content in the generator at every layer using adaptive instance normalization. In particular, the age style is extracted by feeding an image of the target age class to the discriminator. The resulting first and second order statistics of the activations are represented by the mu's and sigmas as shown in figure two here. We use UNET-like symmetric skip connections from the encoder to the decoder, as we find that this helps with preserving the high frequency information in the translated images. This is vital for age progression since we need to preserve the identity of the input image. We use a multitask discriminator to predict the probability that a given image is a real instance of each age class. Thus, the discriminator captures discriminative representations with respect to both the realness of the image and the age. We design this discriminator as a mirrored decoder of the generator to maintain correspondence between the layers of the decoder and discriminator. Our training objective is comprised of three parts. We employ an adversarial loss in order to encourage the generator to synthesize photorealistic images. The discriminator is trained using the standard adversarial loss. Instead of training the generator with the usual adversarial loss, we instead use a feature matching loss. Specifically, we encourage the generator to synthesize images that yield the same discriminator outputs as the target images. By using this feature matching loss, the precise aging patterns of the target image are transferred in the translated images. To ensure that the generator preserves the non-age related characteristics of the input image, we utilize a cycle consistency loss. This ensures that the input image can be reconstructed from the synthetic one. Finally, to further retain the high frequency, identity specific information of the input image, we use a pixel-wise L1 loss between the translated images and the inputs. We benchmark our model against two recent age progression baselines, conditional adversarial autoencoder and identity preserved conditional GAN. As is clearly shown in figure four, only our method is able to translate images convincingly to the over 50 and under 30 age classes. In particular, Conditional adversarial autoencoder produces over-regularized results that fail to retain the input source characteristics. On the other hand, whilst IPC GAN's samples are sharp, they don't differ drastically from the input. 
Here we demonstrate the benefits of not collapsing each class to a single label vector. We show in figure 5 that we can translate the precise aging patterns of a target image, which are shown on the top row, to an input image, shown on the left. Although all of the target images in the top row belong to the same age class of over 50 years old, there is still large variation in the aging patterns of the synthetic images, such as facial hair and wrinkles. Our task is to enhance the diversity of a face data set with respect to the age attribute. To this end, each image in the test set is translated to each of the remaining three age classes. This results in an augmented data set four times the size of the original test set. To quantify how diverse this synthetic set is, we use an age classifier to predict the age of the translated images. We turn to the established diversity and evenness indices to quantify the diversity. Simpson D and Shannon H are measures of the diversity of the data set, while Simpson E and Shannon E quantify the evenness of the label distribution. The higher the value of Simpson D and Shannon H, the more diverse the data set. Whilst the closer the evenness indices are to 1, the closer the distributions of the labels are to uniform. Shown here in Table 1 are the results for all three datasets when we augment the test set using our method and the baseline models. We see that MORPH and FGNet datasets are particularly imbalanced before augmentation, as indicated by evenness scores very far from 1. The samples from Conditional Adversarial Autoencoder deteriorate the diversity of the dataset due to its inability to transform the faces in any significant manner, and IPC GAN worsens the diversity for the CAC dataset. Only our method is able to synthesize datasets with an almost perfectly uniform age distribution. In this work, we introduced a novel face aging framework. Contrary to previous approaches, we proposed a style-based method that is able to transfer the aging patterns of a particular target face. We compared our method to strong baselines, namely Conditional Adversarial Autoencoder and IPC GAN. The qualitative results highlighted the efficacy of our method in generating realistically aged and rejuvenated faces. Furthermore, our method was utilised as a data augmentation tool to enhance the diversity of facial datasets. We assessed the diversity enhancing capabilities of the model using metrics like the Shannon and Simpson diversity and evenness indices. The results indicated that only our method is able to generate diverse datasets. Thank you for listening.